guys. Today we're going to be speaking about overcoming objections, uh, expired specifically because I know that I have a lot of people that are asking me, how do you get over, I'm not interested, how do you get over, we're, we're not no longer looking to sell. And the main thing to recognize and realize with the expired listing is to not take anything personal because obviously, you know, as they're coming off the market, they've been on the market for 180 days or maybe even more sometimes. They're going to be frustrated. I mean, picture yourself, and this is the first thing, even before you make the call. Obviously, you're going to make the call to an expired listing. They need your help because they're looking to get from A to B. They were on the market. They don't really know why their house didn't sell, or maybe some of them have an idea and they want to sell. They still need to sell. Obviously, when you first call them, understand that the initial response of, I'm not interested, is going to be a reflex response. We all know that when we're at the mall, somebody's trying to sell us something and we're just saying, oh, I'm not interested. It's, it's kind of the same thing. Another thing, they may be a little bit angry, but don't take it personal because obviously they've been on the market for quite some time and they need to express their frustration to somebody. You're giving them a call, so a lot of the times it's probably going to be you. But understanding the first thing is putting yourself in their situation, sympathizing with them and mirroring them when you're first giving them a call meaning if they're a little bit angry and a little bit upset, be upset and angry or, or feel their emotions with them. That way they understand that you know them, not just at a, at a word level, but at, at an emotional level. That will actually get them to open up a little bit more and listen to you. So now when they're saying, let's say for example, oh, I'm not really looking to, to sell anymore. I'm not, interesting. I'm not interested in selling the house anymore. What you have to understand from that point on is the next question you would wanna ask them is, well, what changed from when you initially put the house on the market versus now that's been six months? I mean, has your plans changed since you guys initially went on the market? What that's going to do is that's going to have them open up and actually say, well, you know, it's just that we didn't really sell. Uh, we're not lo really looking to, to go on the market. So a lot of the times when you're speaking with expires, they're going to be basing the call or, or speaking to another agent based on their previous experience. Your main goal and what you're looking to do is to actually get them to switch things around and understand that a new approach and understand that that previous agent or that previous result that they got is not going to be the same when they're working with you. Now, how do you do that when they're, when they're so frustrated, when, when they're getting tons of calls from other agents? The way that you separate with everybody else that's giving them a call is by putting yourself in their shoes and understanding them because a lot of people would just go through the script and not really put themselves in the other person's eyes and situation. That's why a lot of the people will get hung up on because honestly, we all need to, we all want to be heard. And a lot of these people oftentimes also want to vent to us. So what you do is whenever they're saying, I'm not interested, you got to go back to their motivation. What happened? Like, well, you're not interested. Okay, great. So if you were to get the home sold, where would you go to next? Now they're gonna tell you where they're gonna be moving to, maybe they're gonna be relocating out of state, they wanna downsize or whatever it is. Based on that fact, your job as the agent is to put all those pieces together and really see it through how they can get from point A to point B in the most smoothest, no headaches, and not really have to worry about being on the market for a long time. So that's what you're doing throughout the call, just basically having them understand that, look, you're not their previous agent, you're not gonna put it on the market for 180 days, you only take listings that will actually sell. Now, if you're still interested in getting from, from New York to Florida or from New York to California, wherever their goal is, give them the energy and give them the feeling that it's still possible. Once they understand that, all the objections that they're going to give you are really unanswered questions. Even if they say, I had a bad experience last time. Okay, you had a bad experience. We all have a bad experience. When we go to the doctors to get our teeth fixed, and that uh, the dentist to get our teeth fixed, and that dentist can't fix it for us, are we just going to leave our teeth like that? Or are we going to go to a different dentist to actually get our teeth fixed? Because this guy can actually get it done. So it's the same thing with expires. You know, you got you guys were on the market for some some period of time. Maybe that agent doesn't know what they didn't know what they were doing. Maybe that agent overpriced the listing. Whatever it was, if they're still motivated to sell, they're gonna want to hear what you have to say, especially if you're coming from an authentic uh, perspective. Because a lot of people do want to sell, and a lot of people just think they want to sell or not really as motivated. 
And those people that are not really as motivated, those people are gonna be at the follow-up game, right? We wanna talk to the people that are actually motivated, need to get somewhere because of a job transfer or not necessarily because of a job transfer, but need to downsize or whatever it is that's happening in their life. They have a real reason that they're motivated and based on that motivation, they're gonna to wanna to make the move. Your job as an agent is to separate yourself from that previous experience that they had and make them understand and sell them on the idea that getting to that place, to that new destination, is still possible for them. Thanks for tuning in. I was just basically sharing with you the mindset going into the call and through the call. The next video is gonna be actually about handling the objections word by word, very, very practical, but this is the first step that you need to get down because obviously if you're, if you're handling these objections or you have everything written up and you know what to say, the dialogue is not as important as really understanding the root and where, where you should be coming from when you're speaking with these expires. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.